Hi guys, hope you're well. I just thought I'd make a small little card. Um, it, it's a bit late now for Mother's Day, but it could be just for something that you can work on that you can send out to some of your relatives. So this is it. So I make an envelope and a little card. So all you need to do, I'm actually going, this is actually in card. I'm going to do it in A4 sheet of paper and I'll show you how to do it. So all you need to do is get two A4 sheets of paper. Okay. I'm getting two so it's when, it, when it's folded it's a bit stronger than it will be if it's by itself. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is get it in half and fold it, get the two corners aligned get as close as you can. So up and out, up and out. So it's in half. Okay, so actually just before I start then I'll have what I'm using is a pencil pen and I have a ruler. I actually have two pens here just in case. Right, so I fold it in half. I'll open it up. Okay so this is where I'm going to bring the ruler in. This is where this is going to be broken into four segments. So it's going to be four different pa pages. If you have a ruler great and um, if not you can just mark a straight line on a straight edge. Uh, I would suggest in around if you can close to 7.4 if you can get that measured, then you can actually just repeat it over and over. So 7.4, I've just ma I've mapped it out already, so I just, just realized that that would evenly go into the page four times. So, two, one more here, 7.4. Okay, so I have them here. So what I'll do is I turn it around, I get the straight edge, in my case the ruler, get as aligned as straight as possible. And I'm going to grab the two pieces of paper, lift it up, and push it along the line of the ruler. So I do that three times. So go down for one, down to the next line, next dot even. Exact same thing. Push to the ruler and all the way out. And then just lastly, the last dot here. So obviously, whichever size of paper, I'm using A4, if you're using different size of paper, break it into four even spaces. Same deal, push it out to the, out to the uh, ruler and along. So that's all I need the ruler for. So I'm just going to make sure these are these folds are embedded a bit better. So I'm going to use my nail, go down, out, out, and then lastly, out and out. So that's it. So you open it up, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it in half, okay, so this part here, which is right in the center, I'm going to get this, I'm going to rip, rip from here to here. You can use, you can actually just do it with your hands if you like, it doesn't have to be perfect. So you rip along that line, but only halfway up the page, do not rip all the way through, because then it'll just be in half. So it's going to look like this. I open it up again. Okay, so, so it's like this. I'm going to open up landscape. I'm going to fold it back over. And then I'm going to push these two pieces together. Okay. And as it folds, I'm going to crease it again. So as straight as you can. And back around. not perfect but it's fine look I think it's nice so there you go little kind of booklet that I've created so there you go one two three and four so that's the main premise of it so I'll show you what I've done I spent obviously a bit more time on this this is the exact same deal I've I've just kind of made made gave it more time measured it all out a bit even more even and then what you can do is start putting in is little saying the happy mother's day in this case it could be a, even it could be a birthday card it could be an anniversary whatever you want put it on the front i have a few quotes small little imagery again you don't need too much material these are just pens and uh, i have a marker there some little positive uh sayings the earth laughs and flowers just some positive kind of vibes so again some little images and you can be as creative as you like Add the images, the images that you think that are relevant to the person you're sending to. So I think it's a nice little um, 
nice little idea add color obviously make it your own so you can work on that um, and I think it's just something nice you don't have to do art it's just it's a craft more than anything else so you can give it a go obviously this isn't absolutely perfect Um say for example if this isn't aligned I'm gonna cut this out this page is gonna stick in it a bit more than it should be I keep on folding it back and forward back and forward And then what you can do is just move it out. There, looks fine, looks fine now. It's a bit more even there now. There. That's it, so if you like that. Give it a go, test it out, and be creative with it. Add a bit of colour, add a few more, a few more images to it, and enjoy it. Obviously then you can you can actually, you can obviously use more uh, paper if you'd like, or different colour paper, whatever you can get your hands on. It's a good little thing to try out. And yeah, that's how, something I thought you'd be able to try out yourselves, whether you do or you don't do art. Right, I'll leave, it, I'll leave that with you. Give it a go. And I'll send on a little clip then, another video then, just to add on to this, just how to make the envelope. Envelope is just one sheet of A4 paper. Right, give it a go and enjoy. Right, talk to you later.